Happy Father's Day, everybody. It's uh, June 18th, Father's Day. Um, I want to have a big shout out to my, my dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I got, got to spend some time with you today. I was glad to do that. I, I really love you, and I appreciate you for raising me and, and helping me be the man that, that I've become. I hope you're proud of me. I think you are, but I hope so. That, that means a lot to me. Um, but I do have a heavy heart today. Um, I want to give a shout out to my brother, Dave Rivette. Um, I believe Dave is getting ready to step into eternity. I, I had the opportunity to go stay with him this morning for a little bit. I skipped church and went over and was my wife and I were with he and his wife. And um, Dave is not doing well. So any of you folks out there that know Dave, pray for he and Stacy tonight. Um, I feel good though, because I know that Dave is going to heaven. My pastor, Ron Talley, uh, went to see him this week and talked with him. And, and after their talk, he came back to me and he goes, you know what, he said, Dave saved. He said, so there's no doubt in my mind that, heaven, uh, that Dave's going to heaven and, I, and I'm glad to hear that. Um, so when, when Dave does step into eternity, I know that, that he will be going to heaven and. Dave, I'll, uh, I'll see you there one day. Hopefully it won't be too soon, uh, but if it is, uh, get the band fired up. It's time to do some Leonard Skinner, right? So, um, just wanna say that. Um, the other thing uh, that I wanted to, uh, to say on Father's Day is thank you to all the fathers out there who have raised their children and, and raise them to be good, upstanding citizens and productive members of society. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, fathers and mothers, families are very important to children and to, to you know, the country as a whole. Uh, we do better when we have families together. So um, I just wanted to, to say that to all the fathers out there. I think the topic that is on everybody's mind this week is the shooting of Representative Scalise from Louisiana, uh, the majority whip. Um, he, was, uh, he was shot along with uh, a couple other folks. Uh, I believe there was a, uh, an aide to a senator as well as some, uh, some other folks there. I know the two police officers were injured in this, this uh, gunfight. Um, but I wanted to... Uh, just say thank you to the Capitol Police. We appreciate what you do. Um, God knows that had you not been there, things would have been a lot worse. Uh, this gentleman, Hodgkinson, that did this was a avid Bernie supporter. Um, not to say that Bernie is the reason for it. I mean, people have to take responsibility for their own actions. Uh, but he had such a hatred in his heart uh, for President Trump. And and the Republicans as a whole, that he felt like that he could go out there and, and have an impact. He just wanted to end uh, the Republicans and, and the Congress and that they were the root of all evil. Well, our beautiful governor, Governor McAuliffe, uh, wasted no time in getting out in front of the cameras and start talking about 93 million uh, People killed by guns every year, which is math sucks. There's 93, 93 people killed, not 93 million. And, uh, you know, he used this opportunity to go in and take a shot at gun control. Well, I got news for you, Terry McAuliffe. I won't even call you governor because, well, you are my governor. But um, here's the deal. You could take all the guns that are on the street and you could lay them down. And if nobody picked them up, none of those guns would kill anybody. The problems with guns are the people behind them. The other problem with that is all the background checks in the world are not going to change this. Illinois, I'm sure, has probably very stringent gun rules. This gentleman, Hodgkinson, was from, from Illinois. He had a permit for his gun. He had done other things with a gun. Um, I think there was a complaint because he was shooting a gun on his property near some other neighbors. Uh, but this man had had a background check. But it all goes back to what's up here. This guy was crazed and, and angry with the Republicans for 
what he thought was the ruining of this country. I can tell you right now, what's ruining this country are people like Hodgkinson that think if you don't agree with the way they think that they can go out and be violent and kill people. Just like these Antifa twerps that are out here uh, rioting and doing things. Has anybody taken a look at any of these? I haven't seen any of them that look very tough. You know, they're in a group, they got their face covered up, they're tearing up stuff, they're, they're hitting people, they're doing things in a group. Well, I got news for you, Antifa. If I'm around and you decide you want to step up on me, be prepared for a good country ass whooping because I'm going to stomp a mud hole in your ass and then I'm going to stomp it dry because you're picking on the weak, you're being a bunch of bullies. You say you're anti-fascist, but what you are being is fascist. You don't like what somebody else says or what they stand for. You don't even know anything about these people and you decide you want to attack them. So again, I highly suggest you little twerps decide that next time you want to jump on somebody, it better not be me or any of my friends for that matter. So uh, again, I pray for uh, Representative Scalise. Uh, I pray for the other victims that were shot and thank God for those police officers that were there to end the violence. The other topic I want to talk about today is uh, the naming of uh, Robert Mueller as the independent counsel for the Russia investigation. So uh, if everybody hasn't kept up with this in the news, uh, Robert Mueller, former FBI director's name is independent counsel. He has hired 13 attorneys to be on his team. Uh, of those 13, over half are big time Democratic donors. They, they donated to Hillary. Uh, they're, they're in the Democrats' pocket. So I really don't have a good, warm, fuzzy feeling about this being uh, subjective. And the other thing, I thought this whole thing was about looking to see Russian collusion. Russia is the big boogeyman. And I'm not saying that they won't uh, try to influence our government and influence our elections. But now it's morphed into this thing they're talking about obstruction, obstruction. I think last week in my, my video, uh, we talked about that. Article 2, Clause 2, Section 1. The president can pardon him. The president can give him a reprieve, just like President Obama did Chelsea Manning. You know, it, it, to say he obstructed justice, you can't say he obstructed justice. He, he, all he had to do was say, well, I'm giving him a, a reprieve. End of story, okay? So this thing, this independent counsel smells to high heaven. And then the, attorney, the deputy attorney, General Rosenstein, who uh, named Mueller as the uh, independent counsel, is the one that gave uh, a letter to President Trump to say, fire this guy, he sucks. So I, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna have an open mind about it. Um, I'm hoping that these people are as stand up and trustworthy and uh, real patriots as, as I hope they are. But I got a bad feeling when you start stacking the deck like that, that you're trying to pull something off. So we shall see. Um, at the end of the day, we need, all need to remember one thing, whether you're Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, Black, White, Christian, Muslim, at the end of the day, we're all Americans. If we start dividing ourselves along these political lines and we start attacking one another, this Republic will not stand. It's not gonna work, folks. So. I'm going to wrap it up now. Uh, I hope everybody has a good week. Uh, join me back here next week. Uh, we'll tackle some more topics. Again, it's Cromag's Common Sense. Um, subscribe if you'd like to be updated with this every time I do a video. I'm doing them once a week now. Um, 
but as things happen, I may do them more. Um, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, look for me on the uh, on my Facebook page, Crow Magnon, and uh, on my Twitter at Crow Magnon nineteen sixty four. So hope everybody has a good week. God bless. God bless America, and we'll see you on the other side. Thanks.